So in today's video, I'm going to be doing what's in my tech bag. And then this is actually my first time doing this kind of a video. So in this video, I basically show you the things that I carry around in my tech bag. So it's my day to day tech. Uh, but some of the things that are in the bag is not necessarily things that I use every day, but they need to be there in case of emergency. You might be carrying some screwdriver, but you don't, you don't know when you're going to use it anyway. So this is my tech bag. I've been carrying this bag for about a year and a half now. Uh, yeah, and it's been good. It's very portable and it's light in weight. It carries up to, I think, five to six kilograms of weight, which means you can carry two laptops. And nowadays, that laptops are not that heavy. So you can carry even three, depending. I'm just joking. But yeah, this is a very good bag. Uh, it's size, it's small than other bags, especially the one that I was using before because it was so bulky and it was so big. It actually gave it away that you're carrying a laptop. So this bag goes for like about 750 rands. I think that's like about uh, 40, 50 US dollars. So yeah, let's look into the bag. So. Before we open it, uh, on this bag we find one main component or compartment where you put in your laptop or your tablet depending on the size and then you find this smaller compo uh, compartment where you put in your little gadgets or you know, your small uh, items and then you have two, you find two small comp smaller compartments on the side, one on the right and then other one on the left and the ones on the left they don't actually have a zip or an enclosure that actually closes them so they use using elastic so you open them you stretch them to actually access them so that you can get whatever is inside same applies with the one on the left you do the same but the good part about this elastic it's, it quickly stretches back to close it so it's not something that you can just easily put your hand in there and then you take it out however it's easily accessible if i can put it that way and then it also has a, a usb port uh here if i can show you that so it's a usb port i think we're going to look into this once we access and see what's inside the bag so let's jump into so let's start on the left hand side so on the left hand side which is this side here uh we find this little pouch so this pouch is what we call a a mini uh what's this it's a mini first aid kit so inside here you find things like glove the ones of glove so you basically once you use this and then you throw it away you get another one so um somewhere somehow i'm in the health and safety team so i have to have this thing everywhere i go with me so this is uh, inside here this maybe let me just show you so the mini health and safety kit or emergency kit so there's gloves and then there's a, a, what do you call that, the valve for uh, if you want to perform uh, CPR. And then you also get like a bandage. Uh, all of these things you use once and then you throw them away. So I haven't used this one and they haven't expired. So they do expire as a medical kit. You know, you, you got to have to check if these things are still valid and then they're still useful. So I keep this with me everywhere I go. And then on the right hand side of the compartment, we find okay just two things this is a torch uh okay, it still works <laughs> i haven't used this torch in a while this is a mini torch uh comes blue in color and then this is a microfiber cloth which i use to wipe my devices so i'm gonna put actually put this aside and then let me put this aside and then let's jump into the smaller compartment so within this smaller compartment you find two other compartments inside where you can put two uh, separate items and then in the middle there's where you can slot in the pens if you carry the pens with you so in the middle i have this one pen that i uh, always carry with me and then let me put it aside and then on one component compartment of the side there is this pouch so it's a pouch within a pouch and then there's this cable, this, I don't want to put this cable in any of the pouches, so it has to be easily accessible. So this is an, a Thunderbolt 3 cable for my MacBook Pro. So I connect this to the charger. I also use this to charge uh, my Type-C devices. As you can see, it's Type-C to Type-C on the both sides. So I like this cable because it's longer, so I'm able to plug from far power outlet into my laptop. And then on this small pouch, what we find in here, this is where I basically stored my SD cards as well as my 
uh, memory sticks. So I'm not really going to open this one and show you what's inside. So I stored them. The reason why I put them here is so that I can easily access them if I need them. So they're all in one place. So whenever I'm, I need one of them, I just take out this pouch and then I access them. So I try to keep this bag as possible. Uh, as simple as possible so that I know where to find what without having to mix things together because uh, sometimes you might think that something is going to be just where you need it and then you find that it just fell into another compartment and then at the end of the day it actually fell out into out, outside of, the, of your bed and then on the left hand side we find another pouch so I like to keep everything closed even though they're in the bag I don't want things to be moving around jumping from one compartment to the other so we find this pouch which is, uh, it is a see-through sort of transparent uh, sieve or a net, if I can put it that way. And then this is where I put in my cable as well as my converters. So as some of you may know that on my MacBook, it's a you know 2018, which has only type C ports. So I need converters if you wanna plug a normal USB-A. So I have one converter here, which I, in fact is two of them. So, but one of them is here in this, in this pouch and then I have uh, this is an audio cable it's a we we'll call it an aux cable uh, that goes to 3.5 millimeter jack and then I also have a type C cable for my type C devices and then the, the other cable is for lightning cable for my iPhones and then the other cable is for my SD card reader as well as my external drive so that's pretty much what's in this pouch as simple as it is and then down here there are just two things item number one is the jbl go bluetooth speaker which i've been having this since uh, i think late 2017. Uh, i carry this speaker around because it's compatible when i don't want to put earphones in my ear i use this speaker so I, it's always my resort if i just want to listen to quality music so i always carry this around with me this is, some, uh, this is something that comes in handy when you are in the park or you are outside and you just want to listen to music without having any hardware attached to your body. So this comes in handy. I've done a video about this. If you haven't seen that video, I think I will link it on the description section below so that you can check it out. So, and another thing that's left on this compartment, this is a hard drive. This is where I copy all my stuff. It's a 250 gig hard drive and I try as much as not to carry the data a lot of data with me. This is basically videos, images, and uh, Premiere Pro uh, projects, which are not uh, complete. I think the completed one I get to drop off uh, on the outside storage, which I don't walk around with. And yeah, I, this comes in handy. It uses that other cable that I showed you, the black one. And pretty much that's it on this compartment. And then let's jump into the main compartment. So the main compartment is where it has two sub compartments. For, for the small gadgets and then it has also two sub compartments which has a cushion to cover and hold the laptop against the back. So let's start with the small one. The first one here I have, have the Magic Mouse. This is the mouse that I use for my iMac for the MacBook. Uh, I'll just carry this around because I've done my configuration on this one. So for those who don't know how the Magic Mouse, you actually can uh, Customize the button, your right clicks can, can become your left click, your left click, vice versa. How you scroll, double tap, what it does. So this is actually a good mouse. So that's why I carry it around because of the configuration and how I customize it to meet my needs. So yeah, something that uh, to consider. And another thing is, this is the Apple AirPods. It's the first generation of the AirPods. I don't have the, the AirPods 2. So this is one, this is what I, I carry around with me. So I use this if I want to listen to something, especially in the office where there's people around me. So if you don't want to disturb them, I actually plug my earpods on and then I get to listen to them. So these things are very good considering that you're able to charge the earpods themselves as well as the case. So if they run out of power, you just put them on the case and then charge them a bit and then you can continue to listen. They come in very handy. There's a video that I did about this. You can go and check it out as well. And the other thing that I have here which I won't talk much about. This is my SD card reader. It's, it's from Kingston. Uh, I use this because my MacBook doesn't have SD card slot, uh, which most of you know by now. And I use it to read all my SD cards into uh, the laptop so that I can edit the images or the videos. 
and another thing that I have here is a USB so this one I like to keep it separate because uh, it's one thing that's easier for me to plug into the Mac this is because uh, it's uh, it's a dual connector one side connects into uh, I'm not sure if you can see one side connects into the normal USB A and the other side connects into USB C and I can't believe I got this for very cheap from take a lot it was like 100 bucks and this is 32 gigs and yeah that's it about it and then another thing that I have I won't talk much about it this is just a backup in terms of data if I'm gonna go and I need mobile Wi-Fi I have a sim card in here I just switch this thing on and then I get my Wi-Fi this is from Vodacom and the good part about this you get to charge it and then it will work as a backup but in my house uh, in my office most of the places that I got this Wi-Fi and this is just for emergency I always keep it with me and then on the other side uh, this is where we find in the power bank so this is a power bank from TP-Link and it has two USB ports which uh, and then yeah two USB ports normal USB A and then it has a, um, a torch so you can actually switch on the torch you can actually check how much juice is remaining so what it is four bars one bar shows that it's uh, 2500 milliamps or times four that makes it 10,000 and it's actually good so I can use this to charge my MacBook and then I can also use it to charge my phones and yeah I'll show you how I actually charge this so anyway I think let's jump into it okay we'll look at it at the end of the video and then the next thing that I have on the two main components, two left items, is this is the iPad mini, which I always carry around with me. I don't really use much of this item. I think that's why you haven't seen it on my video, but I always carry it around with me. So this is when I want to read something. I use this mainly for reading. So if I want to read something, I use this one instead of using the laptop or the phone. And then I actually use this to make my notes and do my reminders. I use it less for uh, media consumption. I don't really listen much to music here. Uh, but then I'm able to connect it to that JBL Go speaker uh, wirelessly because it's a Bluetooth speaker. And then I'm listening to, while I'm listening to Spotify, uh, something to look into in the near future. But this is, I think, the first generation of the iPad mini, which I don't really use much, but it's something that comes in handy uh, uh, on the go. And lastly, but it's uh my daily driver i'm not sure if i've announced that but this is officially my daily driver this is my one and only laptop that i work with but let me show you uh, how easy it is to charge from this bag so this cable is actually connected to the usb port that i showed you so i'm not sure if you can see it clearly so this cable here connects to the bag and then into this compartment here and then what I'm able to do. Oh, by the way, uh, so this are my two daily drivers. Uh, I still have, this is the, I'm not sure if you've seen that video, but my last video was on the Huawei Mate 20 Lite, which is this phone here. It's replacing that uh, Sony Xperia uh, for now. So I'm just testing this phone. Mm, I'm not gonna use it. I'm just testing it for a couple of days. And then this is my iPhone XS, which I think I'll soon I'm gonna upgrade it. So let me choose one cable that I can use to show you how easy it is <coughs> to connect. Uh, okay, we're gonna use the iPhone. So basically, what happens is the power bank is inside the bag, and then connected to that USB cable which feeds the power outside. So let's look at it from this angle, and then. I can basically charge my device while I'm on the go. So the iPhone is charging, as you can see. So let's do that again. There we go. So the iPhone is charging. So I can basically carry the bag around uh, like this while it's busy charging. And it's actually simple. So yeah, that's pretty much about it, guys. Uh, I'll be coming up with an update of the, you know, I'll call it gentleman's edition of a tech bag where I carry less of these things, just uh, maybe the laptop and, you know, a few things. 
so yeah thank you so much for tuning in and i'll see you guys on my next video bye